Hey y'all, it's Captain Shane, Group of Fishing. Today is just a real quick video on how to change the oil. This is a 2022 Yamaha SHO, it's a 115, y'all. Um, I just got through fishing, um, so I, I, that's why I look like I just got through fishing. But, uh, so the oil really only needs to be changed about every 100 hours. I'm OCD about it because I'm on the water almost every day. So I change mine every 50 hours, which I know is overkill, but I'm on the water a lot, y'all. All right, first thing I do, pop the engine cover off. There's a thing right here, pull it out. One on the front, pull it out. And you just pop the cover off. And I just lay it usually on the boat or whatever. Uh, motor's pretty clean, so I don't really ever have any issues, um, you know, with oil or whatever getting on there. Uh, if you don't know, there's a sticker right here on top of your motor that tells you um, how much oil to put in it, you know, with a filter or without a filter. It even has it in Spanish, I believe. So with a filter, mine takes uh, 3.4 quarts. Um, without a filter, it's 3.2, but I change the filter, obviously, every time I do it. Um, the filter is located right here. Sorry, y'all. I know I'm, I'm recording this with my phone, so the re filter is located right here, y'all, on this on the uh, left-hand side of the engine if you're looking at the boat or whatever. Port for all you uh, official people out there. I'm going to show y'all first. Um how to do the we're gonna we're gonna take the uh we're gonna i'm gonna do the lower unit also y'all so i use just a little it's actually a water bottle thing that i cut in half to catch the oil okay on your motor um this is on the lower unit you've got a top screw right here and you got a bottom screw right here um what you want to do, go ahead and loosen your bottom screw. You can actually take it all the way off. So, screwdriver's right there. You can take it all the way off. It's not going to drain, y'all, because the pressure, of course, I'm still putting a little bucket up under there, but the pressure from having that top screw still in is going to hold, going to keep the oil from draining. I'm still going to put a bucket right here. See, it's draining a little bit, but it's not draining a whole lot. Now you come back, your top screw right here, and this is on the right-hand side of the motor, y'all. Now you, you, you bust it off. And when you do, when you take that off, it's actually going to start draining into your, your bucket down here. So take the top one off. Now the oil is going to really start flowing out of your um, motor. And like I said, it's it's gonna run down your skeg, so I put a little plastic bucket right there, y'all, to catch the oil, and it'll keep it from going all over the floor. Um, on these screws, you got a short stubby one right here. That is your upper screw. And then your longer skinny one that has the magnet, you can just remember, it's got the magnet on it. That goes on the bottom. Um, so that's the one that's gonna catch, it's gonna catch like the, uh, what you call it, y'all? It's gonna catch the metal particles and stuff like that, if there are any. But if you start seeing a ton of medical particles, metal part, medical. If you start seeing a ton of metal particles, y'all, obviously you better get your, you better get your stuff checked out. Um, sorry about that, y'all, I know I was close. All right, so now, while that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil. So while my lower unit is draining, because that takes a little while, y'all, I'm gonna start draining the oil. And I know I have a Southern accent from Georgia. Uh, I'm gonna start draining the oil out of the big motor. So for that, you need a 9 16 9 16 socket. I'm gonna show you where, to, where that goes. So on the back of the motor, On the back of the motor right here, if you look about halfway down the motor, I don't know if y'all can see that. I got my lights on here. You, you got this little rubber tube right here, y'all. That right there, if you go inside there, there's a bolt in there for, and that's a, it's a 9 16 for your, um, 
you know, for your oil to drain. Uh, let me grab my bucket, which is right here. So, and also remember, when you're taking the screw out, to try to grab the screw so it don't fall down the bucket with all your oil. All right, y'all, so now we're gonna let this drain. I got the screw right here. Um, we're gonna let this drain. So, while this is draining, y'all, um, we're gonna pause the video, obviously, or I'm gonna edit this part out. So right now, the oil is draining out of the, uh, basically the oil pan of the, of the motor, you know. So um, while this is draining, you know, we'll edit this part out because it's going to take a few minutes. But let all this drain, and then uh, I'll get back to you right after this, y'all. Please like and subscribe. All right, y'all, so most of the oil is drained out. It's just a drip every once in a while now. So I'm going to take, I'm going to put the, uh, the little bolt screw back in there. I'm just wiping the screw off, y'all. It was clean, it didn't have any metal or anything like that on there. And I just kind of hold it to the, the socket right here, put it right inside the, the little rubber, whatever that is, tube. And uh, first, obviously, I'm just getting a hand tight on there. And then I'm about to go back and, like I said, you don't want to crank that, um, that bolt down on there, y'all. So I'm just going to basically put the socket here and just not even, like I say, y'all, there's no way to really, to really tighten it because it's going to stop. So just don't try to crank that thing down, y'all. You're going to break something. Just hand tight. That's all it is, y'all. Now, in the meantime, remember, my lower unit has been draining and it is almost done. So while that is while that finish is draining, y'all, we're going to pull the um, oil filter off, y'all. Now, when you put the oil filter back on, you're just going to hand tighten it on here. But I went ahead and took a, a oil filter wrench and loosened loosened it because it's going to have um, with the compression on the motor, it is going to tighten it down, y'all. So. Just pulling that off there, y'all. There's my oil, my oil filter. Right there, y'all. Set that over to the side so I can throw that away. Uh, on the inside of here is um, just a little bit of oil that came out of the filter, so I'm gonna clean that up. All right, so I cleaned the oil out from around the filter, y'all. About to put the oil filter in. Um, I use original Yamaha parts, so. Just take it out as a small oil filter. I know when you start changing the oil, if you ever do it the first time, you're gonna be like, oh man, that's small, but that's, that's what size they are. On these oil filters, it has a plastic piece right here protecting. You know how you used to, you take oil and you put around the O-ring and all? Well, these O-rings actually have a little bit of grease on them. So you just take this plastic piece off. If you're not, it's, gonna, it's not gonna screw down on there. And screw this on to the, uh, where the oil filter goes, y'all. Make, make sure you don't cross thread it and all that. Screw it on there. You're just gonna get this thing hand tight, y'all. Don't don't wrench on it with a with a oil filter wrench or do anything crazy like that. Now, and like I say, next time, whenever you start running, the compression is gonna pull that thing down there anyway. So now we've already we've drained the main engine oil. We put the screw back in here, and we swapped out the. Uh, the oil filter, y'all. And in the meantime, my lower unit is still draining. All right. It takes a while for that lower unit to drain. So while you're doing all the up, I'm just trying to tell you how to save time. While you're doing all your engine part, your lower unit stuff, let it be draining. All right. Now we're about to refill the oil, y'all. Let me find my pair of pliers. The reason why I need a pair of pliers, this cap right here for your oil fill, it always gets tight too, just from the compression, y'all. So just take take a pair of pliers or something, just turn it till it turns a little bit, 
And then you can put the oil in your uh, in your motor. This one, like I said, there's a sticker right here. So it's gonna take 3.4 quarts, y'all. So I just buy a gallon to make it easy. I just buy a gallon of oil. Shout out to Callaway Blue, Callaway Blue Water for uh, making this uh, oil funnel for me. But I take a water bottle, y'all, and I cut it in half, and I stick that, I stick that right there in the, um, down in the, the oil field, and it works great. That's what I use. Like I said, it's gonna be 3.4, y'all. After I get done refilling the lower unit, I'll check my level on this. I always wait and check it after I let the oil get in there and all that stuff. All right, y'all. The lower unit has pretty much stopped. Um, the lower unit has pretty much stopped draining now. I will show y'all that. There's the my little lower unit thing. It's it's draining a little bit. If y'all can see it running down the the lower unit into the or the skeg into my little bucket, but it's it's about done. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill that back up, y'all, and I'm gonna show y'all how to do that right now. Let me uh, these screws that you took out of the lower unit right here have O-rings on them. Um, I change those out every time. Do they need to be changed out every time? Probably not because I'm I change my oil way more often than it needs to be done. Now the long screw right here, that's the one that's got the magnet on there. I always look at it and make sure it don't have a bunch of stuff, which it, it don't. Um, but I'm just wiping off the excess stuff off there. And the O-rings, uh, there's a part number on here, y'all. I don't know if you can see that, pause it or whatever. That's the part number. But um, I just get, whenever I do my oil changes, y'all, I basically, I go in, uh, shout out to Boat Stuff in Harvey, Louisiana, by the way. I go in there, I tell them, hey, I'm doing a, my oil change on my Yamaha 115, you know, whatever, SHO, and they pull out everything I need to do it. So they give me the O-rings, they give me the filter, they give me my lower unit, uh, whatever oil and my engine oil. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna fill up the lower unit. Y'all need to get y'all a pump like this. It just screws to your lower unit gear oil lube right here. That's all it does. And it's got a fitting on here. You screw this fitting where you, that bottom screw goes on your motor, y'all. That screw's right there. So that's, that's going to take the place, basically, that's going to take the place of that lower unit, or that, that bottom screw on the lower unit, y'all. Now, it's screwed in here, you're going to start pumping the, the, the gear lube into the, uh, the lower unit. You're leaving that screw off the top right here. You don't, there's no screw. You haven't screwed anything back in yet. You're going to start pumping this in. By the way, this right here, the one I'm pumping from now, is a little bit I had from the last time. And I've got a brand new one right here because it's probably going to take both. So... You're pumping this in. Now the one I'm pumping from now is the one is, you know, part of one from last time. So when it gets down towards the bottom and starts getting all the, the air bubbles in it, I'm going to stop pumping. I'm going to switch over to the new one because I, I just don't want to have to put a bunch of air in the lower unit and, and pump all that out, y'all.
All right, y'all, what you want to do, you want to fill this lower unit, so I'm still pumping it right now. You want to fill it up till the oil starts coming out of the top hole, your top screw hole. When it starts coming out, you're going to see some air bubbles, y'all. You want to pump it a few times until those air bubbles kind of go away and you have just solid stream of oil coming out of there. So there we go. I got a pretty solid stream of oil coming out of there now. So now, I'm going to take the top screw, which is the shorter, fat one, y'all. That's what she said. And I'm going to put it in the top screw hole, the shorter, fatter one. So you're going to put the shorter fat screw in the top screw hole, y'all. Tighten that down. Remember, we've already changed the O-ring out on it. You just want to hand tighten it. Don't wrench on that thing because if you do that, next time you go change your oil, you get ready to take them out and all that, it's going to be hard. You're going to end up stripping your screws and all that. So don't wrench on it, y'all. Just, just hand tighten it a little bit and it's on there. Now, I've got the longer, skinnier screw ready to go in the bottom hole of the lower unit. Since you put the top screw in, when you pull this um, pump out of the bottom one, y'all, it shouldn't really leak. You might get a drop, but that top screw is going to kind of keep... See, it, we got what? Just it, it barely came out of there. That top screw is going to keep that the pressure and going to keep that um, the oil from coming out of, that, of the of the lower unit, y'all. So you get it started. Remember, we've already changed the O-ring on it. Also, same thing, y'all. Just hand tighten it on there. That's it. Don't wrench on it. Don't make it impossible to get off next time to where. Uh, you're stripping your screws and all that, y'all. There you go. My, both of mine are just like barely hand tight. That's it. That's all I want. And again, I always clean up the oil off my motor, y'all. And that is basically it, y'all. So now look. We changed the lower unit oil. Remember, we changed the upper oil. Always get your lower unit draining while you're doing the upper. It's going to save you a lot of time that we can do both and knock them out. It's, it's honestly faster than what it is, than what it took me this time because I've been trying to do everything for the camera. But normally, as fast as it drains is how long it takes, y'all. It, it don't take long at all. Sorry. So if you remember, we, uh, we have filled the engine oil up before we started putting the, the new oil in the, in the lower unit. So since we filled it up, um, it's had time to, to get into the pan and all that stuff uh, before uh, we check it. So now we're gonna check the engine oil. Your dipstick for this is on the right hand side of the motor, y'all. It's just a little small dipstick. There's gonna be, on the end of the dipstick, there's a bunch of Excess, a bunch of uh, per perforation, whatever it is, in, on the dipstick. So on the dipstick, you're probably not going to be able to see it. On the dipstick, there's little crosses right here, y'all. Um, that is... Uh, I guess to help keep the oil in there so you can check it. You want that thing to be... You want your oil to be about three quarters to uh, of that perforation stuff up to the end of it, y'all. And mine was about three quarter. So I added a little bit more oil. That's probably gonna take it to the to the, the end of it. I should be good. I'm gonna let that settle. I'm gonna recheck it. I'm gonna clean up some trash and I get right back with y'all. This is after filling the motor and doing the 
in the lower unit change. And it is actually perfect. The oil is right to the very end of the little crosses, the little whatever those that little design on the dipstick, y'all, is at the very end of it. It's, it's fine. Let me take out my Callaway Blue water bottle thing. Now, y'all, you just tighten. Hold on. You take your filler cap and just tighten it in there, y'all. Don't tighten it super tight. It's going to get tight anyway from the compression on the motor. So just get it in there. That's it. Now, y'all, we're going to put the, the cowling back on the, uh, the boat. Clean my hands with a little simple green, y'all, before I touch that cowling and uh, mess it all up. So just drop the cowling back on. Latch your front, latch your back. It's on there. That concludes the oil change. This was an oil change. This is a 2022 Yamaha SHO. It's a 115. Uh, 150 is the same motor, y'all. It's just a different, what you call it? Uh, what you call it? Electronic fuel control, whatever. Anyway, it's just a different computer, y'all. Same motor. So it works on 115 or 115, 150. It works on a lot of motors. So that was the oil change, y'all. If you're first time watching my channel, got mosquitoes out here. I'm in Louisiana. First time watching my channel, y'all, please uh, hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. That makes the YouTube algorithm do whatever. It helps my channel out a lot. Uh, leave a comment on the video. If I did something screwed up, tell me. Uh, if you like the video, tell me. Sorry, I got mosquitoes all over me. Uh, this is the boat, by the way, y'all, that we were shooting this on today. This is my 2022, it's a 2022 Spider, y'all. It's a flats boat. Um, I do a lot of fly fishing charters. In fact, today is, what is today, y'all? November 2nd, maybe? I can't remember. But I'm, I fish uh, up until, uh, up halfway through the month before I have a day off, y'all. So we stay real busy down here in Louisiana with charters. But that's it, y'all. Now I'm going to raise the motor back up so it's ready to go in the morning. Because I have another charter tomorrow, y'all. I'm going to finish cleaning up everything. And that's it. Thank y'all for watching. And uh, this has been Captain Shane Gripless Fishing.